Greetings, friends. Welcome to day 30 of For the Scriptures with Stephen, with your bearded and robed host, Stephen. Congratulations to me. I actually know what day it is in these devotionals, day 30. For the past couple of them, I've been saying day 20-something, but not today, day 30. Anyways, enough of that. Let's actually get into the devotional. Pokemon Eevee, let's go. The unique thing about this game is that the Pokemon will follow you. This includes Eevee. Eevee will follow you. However, eventually in the game, Eevee will go from following behind you to being on top of your head and being literally closer to you. This is similar to God. Before someone is saved, God may in a way follow that person, be around that person, protect that person, watch out for that person, maybe, maybe not. But, however, when someone does become saved through placing their faith in Jesus Christ and ask Him to forgive them of their sins, and actually mean it, because they're actually sorry for their sins, when it happens, God goes from being outside that person to literally inside that person. That person becomes the dwelling temple of God. Like in the old days, in the Old Testament, the God would dwell in the temple. He would dwell inside a building. However... God. Saved people, Christians, are actually temples of God. If there's anyone you know that is a true born-again Christian, God literally dwells inside that person. There is a spirit inside that person. Perhaps you watch uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! You may remember all Astral or uh, Yami Yugi. Astral is more outside. Yuma, like Old Testament style. But the spirit of Yami was actually inside the puzzle that Yugi was having. So, in the same way, the spirit goes inside the person, like how Evie goes on top of the head of the trainer. But how does this relate to your spiritual life with Christ? How can this actually help you? Well, Joshua 9. Joshua 1 9 says, Be strong. No, it says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not tremble or be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Perhaps at times, Evie gets scared when it gets sent into battle. Maybe it has to face the outrage of Dragonite, the hyperbeam of Gyarados. Or maybe it has to thrust itself in, into a tackling mode against a big, rigid Rhydon or Onyx. Is it afraid? Maybe, maybe not. It sure doesn't show it, though. For its trainer is with it, and its trainer has commanded it to go into battle. It has a close relationship with its trainer. It rests on top of its trainer's head. It spends time with the trainer, plays with the trainer, knows the trainer well and has a deep close bond with that trainer can the same be said of you and god are you close to god is god close to you if you're standing before god would god say yeah uh that person and i we're we know each other obviously he knows you very well because he knows everything about you but does he really know you know you intimately is he really close to you is he a very close friend of yours, do you consider him a family? Do you serve him? He wants to send you into battle against lost people, against demons, against your own sin, and to battle against lost people with love, grace, yet also truth and justice, so they might see Christ inside you and be saved, against demons to fight against their plans, against your own sins, so you can become more like him. He tells you to go into battle. Are you close to him? Do you have that close relationship with God? And also, when you have that close relationship with God, are you afraid? Are you dismayed? Do you tremble? Don't. Don't. Don't be afraid. Or in the same way, the trainers with Evie Winnie battles. So, if you are truly saved through faith in Christ, you have God inside you. 
Think about that for a second. What's a really big, something really big? Around? Think about your house. It's a big house. Maybe you live near mountains. Mountains are big. Maybe you live where are the mountains, but there's really big trees. Big trees. Maybe you're a farmer and there are big cattle. Those are big things. God is so much bigger, so much more powerful than a house, tree, or any Pokemon, or any animal. He is so strong. He is so huge. He is so big. Yet, if you are a Christian, God lives inside you. You have another spirit inside you, another being inside you. Imagine if the spirit of a human was inside you and could talk to you and be with you and watch out for you. That's what it's like with God on a much grander scale. God is with you. Okay, so remember, friend, the next time you are facing some sort of troubling situation, or maybe the next time that God sends you into battle against demons, sin, or lost folks, remember, He has commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not tremble or be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So anyways, to battle, let's go. Stay holy, my friends, as the journey continues. Like, comment, share. I'll treat you like a Pokemon. And catch you later.